Hey, Broken Arrow, it is Friday. It is actually Good Friday. Now, some people ask, why would we call this day Good Friday? After all, something pretty terrible happened on this day. The very Son of God, the Messiah, the Christ, Jesus, was brutally beaten and tortured and killed. We might think it should be called Horrible Friday or, or Terrible Friday. But it's called Good Friday. Historically, the word good often meant holy, sort of like we call the Holy Bible the good book. So perhaps Holy Friday would be a more accurate word. But the day of Jesus' death did accomplish something good, something more than good. Peter, in his first letter, in 1 Peter 2.24, writes this. He himself bore our sins in his body on the cross so that we might die to sins and live for righteousness. For by his wounds you have been healed. You see, on that Friday on that hill on Calvary, on that Friday Jesus paid the cost for my sins and for your sins. He took the punishment for the sins of the whole world upon his shoulders. He paid the price for us that we might be saved, that we might inherit eternal life. But we know that even death could not hold Jesus. You see, there is no resurrection without the cross. There is no Easter Sunday without Good Friday. Now, I know the last few weeks have not felt like very good days. We have faced a lot of crises and emergencies, and we face this pandemic. But I know that better days are coming. And I believe that even in the midst of these troubling times, that good things will come out of these days, even as Good Friday led to Easter Sunday. We're all learning how to do new things. We're all drawing closer to one another in, in a new and a different way. We're all learning to appreciate some of our frontline heroes, our healthcare workers, our, our grocery store workers and farmers and our first responders and pharmacy workers and on and on and on. Those folks who are on the front lines risking themselves for our health, for our safety. Better days are coming. Now on a personal note, one wonderful thing has happened to our family on this Good Friday. Our daughter Patty and her husband Andrew have welcomed their first child, their son Leo, into the world early this morning. And so Janine and I are now officially grandparents. There's an old saying, it's Friday, but Sunday's a coming. And sure enough, Easter Sunday, Resurrection Day, Victory Day is a coming. Now, we're all going to celebrate that victory. We're all going to celebrate Easter together this Sunday morning, 10 o'clock on YouTube, on Facebook. We hope that you'll all gather around your, uh, your TVs or your phones or your iPads or however you're going to watch the service and worship together with us at 10 o'clock as we celebrate the greatest story ever told, as we celebrate the victory of Jesus over death in the grave. Please join us Sunday morning, Easter morning at 10 o'clock. Have a great rest of this weekend. We'll see you tomorrow. And remember, God is good all the time.